All right, folks, got some weird and exciting and confusing news for you guys today. Uh, first off, I will address the fact there's no light over here. Um, the light isn't working. The bulb's not burnt out. It's, I don't know, I have too many things plugged in and I keep blowing a fuse every time um, I turn it on. So I got to I gotta sort that out and reroute some wires and reconfigure which outlets are on which, which breaker. But whatever, that's neither here nor there. Let's get into the, the news here. Uh, Catherine Fullbody and XCOM 2 have been raided in Korea. This was discovered by Wario64. I put up the Reset Era thread on it. And basically this means that Catherine Fullbody and XCOM 2 are coming to Switch. Uh, these games aren't... To, to understand how ratings work, you don't get rated in a certain country without being submitted by the company because companies have to pay for these ratings to be made and games can't be sold in those countries until the ratings are made. So it's kind of this, yep, yeah, you got to pay for it. It's like, you know, Nintendo pays the ESRB to get their games rated uh, for public release. Any company needs to do the same thing in Korea. So, uh, it has been rated uh, for Switch, meaning Catherine Fullbody and XCOM 2 Collection are coming to Switch. Now, XCOM 2 is by 2K. Maybe a little less surprising that that's coming. 2K has shown support for Switch over the years, although, obviously, we're all still waiting for Grand Theft Auto 5. Uh, but uh, 2K has been rather supportive of Switch and has had success with NBA 2K in particular. Seems to be successful, and, we see, and we're getting it every single year. Uh, so, Catherine, or oh, sorry, XCOM 2 coming over isn't as surprising. Uh, Catherine Full Body is actually a Vita game that was ported over to PlayStation 4 but never brought anywhere else. Now, there are rumors that are unconfirmed uh, that Atlas had an exclusivity deal in with PlayStation for Catherine, Catherine Full Body, and uh, Persona 3 through Persona 5. Uh, and I guess with Catherine Full Body now coming to Switch, people are thinking maybe if that exclusivity deal did exist, that maybe it's now lapsed. And if it's lapsed, what could be happening here? Uh, so Catherine Full Body was a Vita game, never released in the West. It was only in Japan. Um, and it's basically an extension of the original Catherine game. I'm not going to go into too many details on Catherine and Catherine Full Body just because I don't have a lot of personal experience, although I am aware of what the games are, and they are considered to be really good games. Full Body in particular is considered to be a vastly improved version of the original Catherine with a ton more content and well worth playing. Uh, so it's really good to have that portable and, and available on Nintendo Switch in the West for the first time, not just a PlayStation 4 version. Uh, but... Um, some people are wondering now, what does this mean for Persona 5? And, well, now, as you see in this article on IGN, it says, keep fighting for, for Persona 5 on Switch, Atlas House. Now, for those who don't know, this light's not working. Uh, and, uh, what we're seeing here is that, uh, Atlas has put out a poll, uh, several times, actually, on Twitter and, and a few other social media places, asking people what games they want, they're, they're interested in for Switch and all this. And Persona 5 basically wins the poll every time. Persona 5 Royale wins the poll every single time by the landslide. Uh, but yet, Atlas has not announced anything. And it's really weird. Uh, but Atlas tells us Persona 5 and Switch won't happen unless fans keep asking for it. So let's go over this article on IGN. Because now that we're getting Catherine full body... Why not Persona 5? If there was this rumored um, exclusivity deal with PlayStation, it's obviously lapsed. So what's going on? Obviously, we have Joker and Smash. Uh, Persona 5 still hasn't been announced for Nintendo Switch, but publisher Atlas says it doesn't want fans to give up hope just yet. Rumors have swirled around a potential Persona 5 Switch port for a long time with a bogus Best Buy list. Yeah, I remember that back in 2019. But that momentum slowed down considerably. So IGN asked Atlas communications manager Ari Advincula, uh, this is from the, the U.S. branch. If it was finally time for fans to give up on hope for a potential port during a Persona 5 Royale preview event earlier this month. To which she responded, I am a strong believer in never give up on hope. Now, hope doesn't, you know, hope's nice and everything, but it doesn't mean anything on the surface. Um, but it says the further for a port was spurred by a protagonist Joker coming to Super Smash Bros. last year, but ended up being squelched somewhat when a teased P5S turned out to be Persona 5 Scramble, an entirely new game, and essentially a full-on sequel coming to Switch. Uh, but Advent Kula says fans making their voices heard is the only way it'll happen. You want what you want, she explained. And if you don't let us know, we're never going to be able to make it. Advent Kula, keep in mind, 
it won the fan polling. So fans have already let Atlas know they want this. Uh, but Evan Coolis at Atlas is listening and does see the desire for, for Persona 5 on Switch, saying it's important to always voice your opinion. Evan Coolis encouraged fans to keep telling us what you want, she says. Uh, she's fighting for it internally as well. However, it's important to point out that she has also said she obviously is not the decision maker in a situation like this, despite being an internal champion for it. So this person is really fighting to get it on Switch, but doesn't get to make the choice. Uh, so this shouldn't be taken as an indication of what's happening or what could happen down the line. Still, Atlas has made it clear it is listening to the Persona community and taking feedback seriously, notably also revealing that it will change a handful of scenes in Persona 5 Royale fans have uh, previously condemned for being homophobic homophobic blah, blah 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 for western release on march 31st so um yeah like fans are demanding that atlas puts this game on there and the thing is atlas has another game you know forget you know scramble atlas has another game announced for switch back in 2017 hello shin megami tensei 5 supposed to be switch exclusive i really don't care if it's switch exclusive they can bring it to all platforms they are a multi-platform company i believe great games should be played by as many fans as possible i don't even care if breath of the wild leaves this platform and goes to playstation what i care is that as many people as possible get to enjoy amazing experiences and here we have like shin megami tensei 5 which was one of like the first announced atlas games haven't seen it since 2017 forget like it being announced back then we haven't seen the game so does it even exist? Has it been canned? Is it on the shelf? Is it just in development hell? What's going on with that? And then obviously now we have, you know, Catherine Full Body. You know, Catherine Full Body is is coming to Switch, finally coming to Switch with a 2011 version, I believe it is. So it is, uh, that version is coming to Switch specifically. Uh, if you wonder, this guy, uh, this is the guy that originally on Twitter pointed out to me, this IGN article. So uh, yeah, like Persona 5, Jokers and Smash, we're getting Scramble why not persona 5 royale why not persona 5 bring it over i do not understand uh why we don't have persona 5 right now assuming an exclusivity deal is no longer in place between sony and atlas for the game it should come over it's a popular game it's a better name name than shin megami tensei to be honest that's why persona kind of split off and now there's persona there's shin megami tensei and persona they're they're related but they're not the same it's really um an interesting thing that happened with with uh, those ips but uh persona 5 needs to come over it needs to happen there has been demand for it dating back to when joker was revealed really before joker was revealed but since joker was revealed for super smash bros ultimate i don't know how atlas could not see the demand for persona 5 it was massive back then it wins in every fan poll they make there is no like legitimate excuse to not make it happen beyond beyond an exclusivity deal or atlas thinking it won't sell well enough uh to warrant a port and even then as we've seen with platinum they could just kickstart a report and literally get money from fans early for it uh but yeah persona 5 on switch needs to happen uh it would be a huge get for nintendo switch um some people might think it might be a blow to Sony. I know there's like this console war thing where they're like, oh, it's a Sony, it's a PlayStation and, and Vita game. It can't come to Switch. Like, it can. They're a third-party company. Uh, they make games for Switch already. Uh, why not? I, I honestly think that, that console wars need to go away. This shouldn't be a console war debate. If you love Persona 5 and you have played it on, on PlayStation 4, um, you should want it to go to other platforms. You should want Xbox and Switch to get it because why not? Why wouldn't you want more people to enjoy it? Because you want to force people to buy your preferred platform? Why do you care what other people buy? That That's really the big question in console wars is why do you care what other people buy and enjoy? Who cares if they buy a game on Switch or on PC or PlayStation 4 or Xbox as long as they have fun with it? Like, yeah, Witcher 3, the worst, quote-unquote, worst version of it is on Switch. But if people are getting a ton of enjoyment out of it, who are you to crap on them for not having the PC 4K Ultra 120 plus FPS 2080 Ti version with you know hair works turned on and stuff? Like, who cares? Like, everyone's allowed to enjoy games at different fidelities and different form factors and in different you know play settings. Heck, maybe someone's taking that Switch and playing The Witcher 3 slapped in a dock on a 4K TV and blurry as hell. Who cares? As long as they're having fun. 
What matters in the end is how much the gamer is getting enjoyment out of the game. And so we, we shouldn't be chastising when previously exclusive games are suddenly not exclusive anymore. Can you imagine if, you know, Switch fans got you know, got out their pitchforks and would not buy Octopath Traveler the sequel because Octopath Traveler is now on PC and going multi-platform? Like, are we supposed to be upset at Square that, oh no, this previously exclusive Switch game now isn't exclusive anymore? Who cares? Like, the wonderful one-on-one -on -one is going multi-platform. Do you see Switch people B-I-T-C-H-ing about it because the Wii U, former Wii U exclusive games, multi-platform now? Who cares? As long as more people get to play these amazing games, that's really what should matter. So, honestly, if you're a fan of Persona, you should be excited to see Persona 5 go to Switch because that's going to create a bigger fan base for the Persona franchise and open up future sales, not only on Switch, but in general for the next Persona game. You're just going to build more interest in the next Persona game. And I'm saying all this as someone who has never played a Persona game. Like, if I got this, it would be my first ever experience with the Persona franchise. So, I, I got to just say that, like, this is great news um, and... I've seen some console war debates over it again, which seems to always stem up when a previously exclusive game might go multi-platform. It's, it's happening with Catherine Full Body, um, and and it's probably going to happen if Persona 5 ever comes over. But here you have Atlas, um, a person at Atlas in the United States, saying, "Hey, look, we 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 want this to happen. Fans are, fans are clearly making it known. Keep making it known. Eventually, you know." you would be almost stupid you know if there's enough fan demand to be almost stupid atlas would be leaving money at the table if they don't bring it over so keep demanding it keep going to those fan polls keep tweeting at the official atlas accounts please don't go to individual developer accounts and stuff like that and, and, and pester people i hate when people do that the sakurai let's not do that here because these people are people they have lives they have a job they have a career to worry about we don't need to pester them on an individual level but if you want to go at, go at the atlas official pages you want to go at the persona twitter accounts or whatever that's fine the official representative accounts for the game and for the company those are open game because those don't go to any person on an individual level that we're aware of it goes to a company um but yeah let, let's keep making them aware that we want it let's ask them in interviews when we get the opportunity to hey you know fans really want this hey we did a fan poll on our website on our youtube channel you know we have thousands upon thousands of people saying they want this to happen what are you going to do about it uh, keep the pressure on um honestly i think we need to put more pressure on 2k as well if we really want grand theft auto 5 on switch or grand theft auto 6 which is clearly in development on switch uh we're gonna have to keep putting the pressure on these companies to be like hey you know why don't we have this stuff on switch and it feels weird because switch is over 50 million in unit sales why are we still you know fighting so hard to get these games because these companies don't have a history with these particular franchises on Nintendo platforms of selling extremely well, so they need to be convinced. Unfortunately, that's the reality we live in. So if we want these games, we got to show up like people did for the wonderful one-on-one -on -one Kickstarter. We need to show support, and we need to, you know, I, I hate port begging, but I mean, that's basically companies are asking us to do it. This is someone at Atlas asking fans to keep port begging. So here's the thing. I might not be a fan of port begging, but third-party companies are asking us to port beg. So you know what? We want these games. Port bag away. It's not going to hurt you to two, take two seconds to tweet something on Twitter or whatever. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let me know what you think about this on the comments below. Are you excited for Catherine Full Body or XCOM 2 collection coming over? Are you excited potentially about Persona 5 if we can convince Atlas to do it? Uh, do you think we even should need to convince Atlas? I think after the excitement around Joker, it should have been pretty obvious that we want him. Or we want, you know, not just him. We want Persona 5 on Switch. Um, so let me know down in the comments below what you think about all this. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video, drop a like, subscribe for more content, and whew, hit that bell icon. I'll catch all of you in the next video.